LeBron, but we haven't heard from the Brody. Let's hear from Westbrook. Honestly, I'm over the whole situation and what everybody else wants me to do and what they think I should be doing. Um, and I'm going to go out and just play and do what I know I do best. And that's compete my ass off, um, compete to better win games, make my teammates better like, I, like I've done many, many years. Um, and I'll continue to do that, as simple as that. Um, and honestly, I mean, I think I've been, I've been fine. I don't know what, like, the conversation's been heavily on how I'm playing and what I'm doing, but I think people are expecting me to, to have 25, 15, and 15, which that is not normal. You know, we need to, everybody has to understand, like, that's not like a normal thing that people do consistently. <laughs> I know I've done it for the past five years or so, whatever that may be, but it's not like a normal thing. So <clears throat> when people are saying, Russ, be Russ, I don't really think no, nobody understands what that means. I think people just say it and just be like, let's Russ be Russ. But nobody actually knows what that means but myself. And I'm going to lean on that and make sure I do what I'm supposed to do and let everything else outside of the locker room, whatever that may be, um, take care of itself. Never holding back. And you see the numbers on the screen. We see the points, the three-point field goal percentage, pretty much what he's done his entire career. B. Wood, just your reaction to what you heard and your assessment on Russell's impact on the Lakers. Well, I think that Russ is a little misguided. People aren't expecting him to average the same amount of points that he did before or even the same amount of assists because he's playing with two other great players. But the way that the spacing hasn't been great, he's still not shooting the ball great from three, and the turnovers, the careless turnovers, that's what Russ has to cut down. I understand he has the ball in his hands a lot, and in previous years when he was averaging 4.5 and 4.8 assists, he had the ball in his hands so much. But on a team where LeBron dominates the ball a lot, they can't afford for Russ to still be getting them five turnovers per game. He has to get that turnover number down, and that's what they really need to have happen. He has to protect that ball and make sure that he plays with um, just a little bit more headiness on the court.